Capricorn. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am Chandra Lynn. This is your general reading for the moon cycle um, here in December. I meant to get these out last week right before the um, new moon, but the universe was just like, nope. But then this morning I was hearing like, time to do those videos. And so I was like, oh, okay. Maybe we did something like really awesome during the new moon that I don't know we were supposed to be doing without thinking about it. And let's see what we did. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates with you in your life, in your situations, in your experiences. Toss what doesn't resonate. If none of it resonates, then obviously, energy-wise, like this is just won't work. So go find yourself somebody who does resonate with you in a reading, and let's... Let's get started. Okay, so, and I'm a Capricorn as well, so it's kind of like really talking, really talking to me. Okay, so we have um, forest and breathe in our higher true self position. And like, I'm getting that like, hey, everything's okay. Just breathe, just breathe. And right under, right under that we I hear like ceremony invocation so and this is saying that this was already done like this was done the intention was there the actions matched up with the harmony of the intention so we have done <laughs> we have done something amazing you got DNA karma so whatever this focus was it's it's almost like it's done baking and ta-da here's your gift right and DNA karma doesn't come like doesn't mean bad or good it just means what you put out you receive back and that is what I'm I'm picking up but I'm 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 hearing big time that like all I'm getting is like that really like, oh, there's that excitement, but then there's that, oh, that DNA karma. Um, also on the flip side, and if, and if that was popping up, just that's what I'm hearing don't focus on the other side of this DNA karma don't focus on any other recipients don't focus on anybody's actions towards you think about your own actions where what were your own actions in this period of time um, and for for some I'm getting that this is actually going on so if this is resonating something that happened during this last year or the last couple of years, like if you've been really focused on making life changes, then this is probably playing out and getting ready to come out of the oven to like per se for you. But if you are just kind of like coming into it, if you've got this feeling like this has got to change, I want this to change, I want that to change. If you're in the process of really focusing on making some kind of change, then that's what this card is saying. It's just saying, don't focus on anybody else. Just focus on yourself and love yourself. DNA, karma, treat, treat yourself 
like you are the most precious gift in the world to yourself because that's what you are. You are the most amazing gift in the world to yourself. And your first and foremost responsibility is to yourself. So think about how you make those that you love feel, like how you want to express how much you love those in your life. Show that to yourself as as well. <clears throat> And I'm getting for some of, for some that have been aware that they have been doing this, um, it's going to be, it's going to be a shock is what I'm, what I'm hearing. So make sure that you are still focused on loving yourself and nurturing yourself and caring for yourself right now. Because we got this dance celebration card coming up, which is like really, really good. And I, these cards are just coming out. Um, and then you have the lake stillness. And this is talking about, especially if you have been working on this for quite some time, there has been a period of what looks like stillness, right? Um, but what I'm picking up is that it really hasn't been all that still. It's like there's been an awareness of an internal change like within yourself so there's been situations that you yourself react differently to um, and so you recognize that nothing is still there's so much going on and it's kind of got it's kind of got um knowing like knowing and feeling all that work underneath the surface that can't really be seen knowing that that's all going on it's almost like looking for it on the outside as so within as as without kind of a kind of a thing um going on um but what i'm being told is that there has been there's this passion that this there's this fire it's what we're embodying right now and so um let's okay like i said take this how it resonates okay so this is kind of like what we are who we are right now um or what you are right now, Capricorn. And I know, okay, so, um, okay, so what they're saying is, think back, think back to all the times that you have been doing something that you just love to do, and you're really, really amazing at it. But it was kind of like it intimidated people, and it, ignited those lower darker energies and emotions and feelings so it was kind of like you dimmed your fire a little bit but what i'm getting is that with all these changes and especially the internal changes it's like you've embraced yourself more and so it's almost like you're it, you're putting off more light without even recognize it you've transitioned into it smoothly and slow like it was a nice transition into it okay and whatever that fire that passion card is that's that's what I'm hearing was like um That was like the, so what they're showing me is like a race now, right? Like you've been doing all of this training for a race and, and it's like you were so focused on yourself and, and bettering yourself for this race. And it's almost like you didn't even recognize like now, now you're hearing like it's time it's going to start, um, like you're doing all this work so you can run in this race and however this resonates it's it's going to resonate 
like different. It's just how, how it's being shown to me. So like take that race as this new moon, as this promise card, right? And all that, and it's like, um, what they, like they shoot that gun, right? That spark, that gun. And it's like, that was the start, like boom. And then you're off and you're, and you're running. And it's what I'm getting told is, okay, so it's already started. And I get what I'm hearing is, is that you weren't even aware that that was the starting of the race, right? You've gotten so in tune you know what you're doing. It's second nature now. You've got a better grip on it. And so when that shot went off and you started running this race, you weren't aware that it was the actual race. You were just doing something that you had made second nature, something that you've enjoyed, something that you enjoy, something that brings you pleasure and fulfills you and just satisfies part of your soul is what I'm getting. <clears throat> okay. And that's, that's what I'm being told. And so, and it's so, but I get showed by, it started off as this little spark. And then I'm being told like, like, look at how much flames there are. Right. And then he is in, like, he is working in harmony with those flames. And that's what I'm getting told. Like it started off like, boom. And we, you started running in this race. Right. But now it's like, look at you. You're like flipping things around. Okay. Okay. So there's this new wave and this is in the new position of the synergy going on. So it's going to be, it's like, things are just kind of starting to smoothly transition into place. It's almost, I know for me, um, it was like hearing a song that I haven't heard in like 10 years. And I was like, wow, I haven't heard this song in like 10 years. And then like an hour later, one of my kids brings me a video. It's like, watch this. And they're watching this video where some kids are dancing to the same song. And I was like, that is strange. But I had just gotten done going, okay. And I somehow was just like wanting confirmation. Like I'm doing, am I doing good? Am I doing good? And so it was like, boom, here's like, here's your synchronicities here's your here's your confirmation um but what that what this card is really speaking to me about is trust in how you receive your synchronicities trust in how you're receiving these synergies because you got that in the new and then there's also the eagle and communion in the west and so um what that's saying is like, okay, if we go back to the race and now you're not running, now you're a driver, okay? And so you got your pit crew, right? And they're telling you about different vehicles and the turns and the speeds and what's going on on the track. And it's all to make sure that you can keep going in this race smoothly, right? And so that's what these two cards are talking about. It's like you got them on, you know, either side. It's like they're matching up. And I'm being told that that is going to be what is going to help guide you because whatever it is in the mother spot you got the full moon completion card so it's almost like you're done and that's what I'm getting it's like the end of the race and you won and you didn't even realize you won and so now you're just kind of like you're not sure because you weren't it's kind of th it's kind of goes back to that you know you're good at things like can't help it that you know you've got a lot of mastered skills kind of a thing but now everything is kind of um it's almost like a shock at yourself like did I just do that kind of a thing but it's a good thing but you're not really really sure quite um it's kind of throwing you off balance. That's what I'm getting. It's going to be a little bit off balance. And the reason why I'm saying this is for some, it might already be there. For others, it is coming. It's almost, I, I can feel it at myself, right? And I know it's coming quick because I'm feeling this waterfall, right? I'm feeling the waterfall and it's effortless. Like I recognize like it's a smooth, like it's beautiful, right? 
but sometimes hitting those rocks and everything hurt like a bitch and that's all I'm saying and it's not it's almost like I've got a like almost like the pain tolerance is better like you've gotten so used to you know the bumps and um, scratches and snags in life that they don't affect you negatively anymore is what I'm saying and some situations or experiences in the way that you handle yourself or this situations or the experiences how you conduct yourself it's like at first it would have been like if you got snagged you'd been like oh shit I got snagged on a stick right but now it's almost like and you've got like fluid motions to make sure that it like you get off that snag it's like you know how to embrace like how to properly relax for the impact of a boulder or something and not talking about actual physical pain it's just things that are hard to take and things that are hard to come to understand with compassion and understanding <clears throat> so you got the waterfall and then we got clouds and shape shifting in the north and talking about air we also got wind and activation and this is from all the other spirits right and it's kind the biggest thing that I'm picking up on that is it's almost like um, conditions are perfect for these blessings and these abundances this new promise things are things are perfect like if you say like the perfect storm like conditions are perfect for the perfect storm think conditions are perfect for this new promise and it's kind of like, okay, you ran this race, it's completed, but all you really wanted to do was run the race. You didn't reckon, you didn't think anything about the prizes that would come at the end of it if you did really good. All you knew was that you were going to do your best, you were going to give it your best, and you did. And now you're at the end, and you're like, you're done, you won, like you're very much in tune, right? And so it's kind of like this wake-up call. And this is the card from the Father Source. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh, look at that. It's a tsunami, right? That's not a good card. But I have to tell you that when, when these conditions happen, and especially when they come from the Father Source, it is... It is... Um, It is amazing. It's for me, all I'm hearing is like taking a test, like, and you knew you were going to take this test, and you've actually been worried about taking this test, and then being told that you've already taken the test and you passed it, and you're like, but I just start like I just started studying for this test like what do you mean I already taken the test and that's kind of that's the feeling that's the energy that I am picking up from that and I know I already have a lot of cards out here um, for you Capricorn but let me I want to pull three more really quick so yeah it That's what it's saying. It's like if there was a race or something, and we we're just planning on participating, like that's what I'm getting is like winning to you would have been completing the race. You never really gave it a thought of actually winning the race, and you've won the race, and there are so many rewards that come with that and accept them accept them graciously you earn them like don't like you you got that fire going right now and um don't dim that fire and don't don't dim your fire according to others actions too because those clouds the shape-shifting clouds and the wind like that's what I'm I'm getting is like somebody somebody or something upset about the fact that like look at how bright you're shining and so they're gonna try to get you to alter it by trying like blowing it like you know what I mean like making the risk that 
that your fire is going to catch. And what I have to say about that is this is metaphorical fire. Don't dim, like, like, trust me, you want everything. Like, if they want to blow that fire all over the place, let them blow that fire all over the place. Because all you're going to do with your passion and your light is help others understand and see and recognize their own fire their own passion and so it will do nothing but help them find their path to this healing or changing or you know loving themselves so yeah like you can let that wind blow let that wind blow yeah Yeah. Okay. So you've, we got Otter here talking about smoothly transitioning into both worlds. He can be in the water. He can be on the land. He's comfortable in both. And that's what this card is like. You have worked really hard at not only being comfortable on the outside, but being comfortable on the inside. And this can also, um, this could be in work, you know, being comfortable at your job, being comfortable in your relationships, being com you know, with whatever situation really resonates with you on this. And so with this new promise coming, with this race that you've won, right? Remember, you won this out of unconditional love. You weren't, this was about you doing you. And that came from a place of unconditional love. So just embrace it like embrace it fully and be proud of yourself because it is fulfillment time like kind of like harvest time as well if that makes sense like everybody's coming in now time to you know harvest what has been accomplished kind of thing and that's what this is saying is that you know you did a really awesome job to be this awesome you did it from a place of love like you're you're worthy of this you have earned this and now it's time for it's almost like expect it start expecting your gifts and abundances to come in and it and it will come in all different different forms and that was your reading capricorn that was kind of amazing like you kicked dash you won that race congratulations i can't wait to hear what you guys what your rewards are for it